This photo exhibition, therefore, is organized to serve as a poignant reminder of significant events in the annals of this great country and how they have shaped the country, ensured peaceful coexistence, patriotism and determination, culminating in our greatness and development. For those who did not witness Nigeria's independence in 1960, particularly the students, they can at least look at the photos of pre-independent Nigeria. The independence proper itself, post-independence era, leaders who fought for our independence and have an idea of the struggle for freedom from pluralism and a mental picture of how the situation was then, which gives hope that whatever challenges we may be facing today, we will support them and have a strong, united, peaceful and prosperous country. We have witnessed several changes in the system of government from the parliamentary system and independence to the presidential system that we are currently operating. In between, Nigeria also experienced and survived a number of military incursions into government from the 1960s up to 1999. At the moment, we are enjoying over 20 years of civil rule in the Fourth Republic, the longest ever in the history of this country. Nigeria as a country has equally witnessed several changes in the headship of in governance from independence to death. From a prime minister and a ceremonial president at independence through the military heads of state and now executive presidents. All this capture the story of governance in Nigeria over the last 60 years. We've had our own challenging times, but we survived them on the strength of our rich culture, dynamic population, with over 250 ethnic groups, an ever resilient spirit. In spite of our diversity in culture and language will remain one strong and indivisible country. This unity in our diversity has been aptly captured in the theme of the Diamond Jubilee celebration together, which emphasizes the promotion of social cohesion, national values through the impartation and adoption of civic and communal values that promote good character, patriotism, empathy, hard work, and self-reflection. As you go through this exhibition stands, showcasing our rich cultural heritage and the values that define us as a nation, you will then be able to appreciate the more that together we would always be greater than the sum of individual parts. I therefore want to encourage you to undertake a tour of this stand. Appreciate our great heroes and heroines who have contributed in no small way and measure to our unity as a nation. And most importantly, commit to playing your part in strengthening the nation. Just as old as our country, Nigeria, the civil service is also currently learning from our antecedents so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past. And by God's grace, we shall succeed together. One thing we have recognized is that to survive and thrive, particularly at these times, Government institutions must not only continuously innovate to be able to accomplish strategic objectives, 
but must re-engineer with the right leadership mindset, collaboration, and culture to deliver on institutional goals. Therefore, I wish to reiterate that the Nigerian civil service is on course for transformation by putting in place mechanisms and structures to attain global best practices towards improved service delivery and good governance because we recognize that this fundamentally affects the well-being of all citizens and also the socio-economic development and stability of the country.